Nestled deep in a remote forest stands St. Luciana's Academy, an elite prep school for the well-to-do. After a series of bizarre occurrences and unexplained psychological traumas, Meg enrolled as a transfer student to investigate the school from the inside out. One night, Meg discovered a young girl on the roof and stopped her from committing suicide. girl, Yoko, was fraught with terror and seemed possessed as if tortured by some unseen phantom. At the center of it all was the Ishtar Club, a highly secretive and exclusive student organization. Meg was invited to join and immediately had suspicions about Angelique their beautiful and intelligent leader. Her curiosity piqued, Meg's investigation pressed forward. But before she knows it, she's attacked by a monster and running for her life. Where the hell did that thing come from? The dormitory, I think. I'm not sure. Well, the sneaky detective bit's not gonna work anymore. But things are definitely getting interesting. No, they are not getting interesting! I wanna go home! I don't wanna be here anymore! This is not fun! Uh? Starting today, I'm going undercover with you. Really? Yeah. You'd have a hard time fighting that thing by yourself. But... Joe, that uniform's not your style. Mm. You think? Ladies, I would like to introduce our new transfer student, Joe Carpenter. Joe has been overseas for the last few years with her father, an important Japanese diplomat. Now she's here to get ready for her college entrance exams. So, Kyo, my little devil. How do you suppose Joe's doing in there so far? She gets points in my book just for wearing that uniform. So, so not, not her. her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got it. Understood. I just got some news. The drug tests on the Bailon girl came back positive. It looks like she's been taking them daily for some time now. It turns out there's a compound present in the drug that sends the subject into an extreme manic state. It's like they're in some trance. So then... Yes, we need to get word to Meg and Joe not to eat the food there. Listen, Kyo, I know it's crazy, but we're counting on you. Oh, sure. Uh, well, we know Joe can take care of herself, but do you think Meg's gonna be okay? Dear Lord, please make this food taste just a little bit better than yesterday's. Only one way to find out. Gotta dig right in. Bon appetit, me. Don't eat any of the food here. Oh, this is getting worse every day. This sucks. The biggest danger in this crappy place is starving to death. Dig in if you enjoy hallucinations. Hallucin... So, are you saying all the food here is drugged? More than likely. Amy contacted me. No way! So everyone here has been eating poisoned food? Hey Meg, what's up? Oh, hi Yoko. You're eating lunch with Joe, I see. You guys are friends already? But you're in different grades. <clears throat> um, yeah, you know, we're both pretty new here and we just hit it off right from the start. Oh, well, if you're good enough to be Meg's friend, then you're good enough to be my friend too. Great. What's the matter? Aren't you going to eat? Lunchtime's almost over. 
I wasn't really very hungry today. Oh, oh my. Yeah, uh, you see, Meg's on a new diet. Hey, watch the hands. She was just telling me how careless she is about what she eats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Joe, you crack me up almost as much as Meg does. <laughs> Maybe I should be on a diet. What do you think? Ladies, I need a moment of your time, please. Earlier this morning, someone broke into the Ishtar Club and with extreme prejudice vandalized it. This is a horrible blight on our entire school. Some miscreant devil thought it would be funny to destroy the harmony of our environment. Miscreant devil? Exaggerate much, drama queen? She is completely mental. And those gloves she was wearing were so obvious. You know she's hiding that wound you gave her. Totally suspicious. Once I discover her true identity, ha! I'll give her a good pounding and teach her not to mess with us. Megumi, huh? would you kindly come with me, please? We have some questions we'd like to ask. Uh, I'm kind of busy now. Later? <laughs> Just go. Uh, but I... Ah! Get moving. All right, all right. Whatever. <laughs> Tell me, where do you come from, Meg? You know, I moved around a lot with my dad, so all over? Your transfer papers here say you're from Okinawa, is that correct? Yeah, that's right. I was born and raised in Okinawa. <laughs> what is she doing with my transfer papers? Oh, you know what? I misread that. It actually says you were born in Hokkaido. What? Oh, yeah, that's right, Hokkaido. Wait one second. My mistake, this isn't even your file. <laughs> Cut the crap. You think you're special just because your daddy's rich? If you've got something to say, why don't you spit it out? All right, let's cut to the chase. Uh, so, uh, what are you gonna do? Not like that little butter knife scares me or anything. Not too much. <sighs> this is no way to handle things. How can you be certain that Meg was the intruder? Are you prepared to take responsibility if you're mistaken? What do you mean? Meg was with me this morning. After breakfast, we enjoyed a leisurely walk in the courtyard in front of the school. Now put down the knife. This matter is settled. Thanks for helping me out back there. Don't worry about it. Angelique can definitely get carried away sometimes. I didn't think you'd mind me stepping in. This school can be pretty rough on new kids, and I hate seeing people get picked on. So, the underclassmen have swim class next period, right? You'd better hurry so you're not late. Yeah, I better get going. And thanks again. I'll return the favor if I can. Uh, Joe? What are you doing? Nothing. Are you trying to embarrass me in front of Nadeshko? No one here but me. What the... Where did she go? She was just here. Hmm. Uh, man, I'm getting sick and tired of those prissy snobs picking on me all the time. I am not the kind of girl who gives in to threats. No. Sir. Ree. Are you even listening to me? Ah! You're wearing my favorite pair of panties! Sorry. I was in a rush, so I just grabbed whatever was clean. But that's my underwear! Who takes other people's panties? Who cares? We share everything else. Take them off! I was going to. I said off! <gasps> Take it easy. What if an enemy showed up right now? What do you care? You're the one who prances around half naked all the time. It's easier to fight that way. <laughs> 